Uh, so many changes, so many newcomers, uh, so uh, you know, a lot of question marks um, going in. Talk about this season and your expectations and, and what you see from the uh, 2009 Mustangs. A lot of question marks. <laughs> a lot of, we, we won't know. Uh, we're going to hit the road here and we've got a lot of talent, that's for sure. Uh, the recruiting class, the ranking is uh, what it means is that the, the best, the top coaches in the country, I should say, the, the longest standing coaches uh, have recognized these kids because they've been recruiting them as well, kids who chose to come to Cal Poly. And we'll be a work in progress, I think, until the last day of the season. And where that might take us could be anywhere from uh, you know, I, I think a Big West championship is very possible and actually a run in the NCAA tournament is possible because these kids have done things in the preseason that we haven't seen. I haven't seen here in the, in the four preseasons prior to this. So it's going to be a really exciting year. Yeah, last year so many expectations. Uh, and for whatever reason, you know, it didn't work out for the squad. This year, the expectations obviously much lower. With those lowered expectations, do you think that might help the team and, and just relax and, and, and grow and, and hopefully become the team you, you think they can be? Well, the expectations have, you know, it, it depends on who you're asking. You know, the expectations from the external, the perception is that when you return all Americans that went to the Sweet 16, there's an expectation, I think, makes sense that that group has been there, they've been in the fire, and, and they ought to do real well. But my expectation is different. It's about will they apply themselves and, and sort of honor the sport and, and be the best they possibly can be individually and then as they become a team. And so my expectations for this team are no different my expectations, that is, not the outside and who might be perceiving what we, what we may become. My expectations are no different. Uh, my, what's happened so far is that this group has shown a very different uh, work ethic and a different sort of orientation. They just have a fresh attitude about them. Uh, it's all new to seven of, of the 14 uh, roster members and they don't know what Cal Poly Volleyball is supposed to be other than what they've learned over the last oh, uh, 10, 11 days or so. And so their expectation is, I think it's, it's been based upon what we've stated for them and that is let's see how good we can be, let's see how close to perfect we can become and let's work hard to be better in the gym every day and I, I know that sounds cliche. But with this group and the amount of talent that we have brought in, it really is, uh, it's, it's, I hope it is not cliche. I hope it is, is true in its application. And then we could really have something special here at Cal Poly. We've got a group of athletes who are capable of doing anything. I know every year you guys always start on the road for seemingly like two months or whatever, but, but this year, yeah, same scenario. And, and, and with, with such a, a new team, young team, it really seems like that would be a great opportunity for the team to bond and come together and know each other on and off the court. Do you look at it like that as an opportunity to really come together with so many games out on the road here in the next month? Absolutely. It's, uh, it's no coincidence. It's done in a calculated manner. We have the luxury in the quarter system and starting when we do to be able to have all of our fall camp take place when school is not in session. And that allows us the opportunity to focus only on volleyball and be able to go out on the road if, uh, if, that, if that suits us. And this year it just so happened that we put together, things sort of fell into place. I, it's hard to explain how it happened it, it took place over the course of a number of months, but one tournament, the ASICS Classic, uh, ASICS is a valued sponsor of ours, and they brought in, uh, they brought in uh, Oregon State and Pepperdine, two top ASICS teams in addition to Colorado State. The only other ASICS team of, of note in the top group would be Hawaii. And so it's really, uh, that was the 
the basis upon which I built. And then the, the trip to Utah is unique in that a mentor, my, one of my mentors, Carl McGowan, is there at, in Provo at BYU. And so we'll be traveling over I-80 and familiar grounds uh, in the past when I coached uh, over at Wyoming. So we'll go over into Utah and spend that week. And then because of the, the time that I've invested into USA Volleyball, I was able to, to make a, a pretty nice deal for our group to go down to the US Olympic Training Center on the third week. So right after we finish playing at BYU, we'll go down to the US OTC and be able to train in what are as ideal a circumstances as you could possibly have. Uh, so it just all fell into place. We stay on the road. Yeah, it's going to be tough with this group. It will be hard on them being away from home for the first time anyway. Even if we were at home would be difficult. But to go on the road for that long, it's really going to test us. It will really help us, uh, give us a chance to build a team uh, identity and, and bond as a group. And I think we're going to come back uh, really a, just a strong very strong unit with a very clear identity that has yet to form. We have a lot of talent, but it hasn't quite coalesced yet. Uh, you know, it's hard to put together a group uh, of seven newcomers and seven returners in the course of 10 days and try to create a, a clear identity for a team. So these matches, the difference between, I'd say, this year and past years is that while we do go on the road and we take advantage of the opportunity that we're not in school, we aren't playing the top one, two, three, four, and five teams. We're playing teams who are ranked in the top 25, quite a few of them, but that's based upon last year's ranking in large part. How, how good those teams are, the San Diego's, the Santa Clara's, the Pepperdine's, uh, Utah, those kind of teams, how good they are this year, we won't know. And we frankly, we don't care. It, it's a matter of, uh, it's what we do on our side of the net. So this is uh, quite an opportunity for us to go on the road and test ourselves against quality. We have no, there are no gimmies in this trip at all. And uh, so we'll come back and I think the bottom line is that we're going to be ready to play our home, our home tournament, the Mission Inn Classic, uh, with Santa Clara, Idaho, and Seattle, and be ready for Big West play.